Yo y'all, this is Wasabi7 and today I'm gonna keep playing, uh, Sally Face. Last time, we finished finding all these teeth, and, uh, we reminisced and revealed. No new messages. And, um, yeah, we also, uh, ended on a note where I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Cause, um... It says search the apartments, and I have, I have indeed searched every apartment, and s talked to everybody, I believe. So I don't know. Either I'm missing something, somehow, or something has changed in one or more of the apartments. Actually, maybe something has, because I don't think I talked to everybody twice. Let's go to, uh, who would have tools? Well, I would think in the basement, but I think I already checked, right? Um... Indeed I did. Damn. Well... I mean, I guess... Yeah, I need a screwdriver. I also forgot about that. We, I mean, a screwdriver could be good for both situations. Um, because we could pull up the carpeting. And we could unscrew the bottom of that birdcage. I already tried to leave, but we can't really do that. Man, Sally's a short dude. Alright, let's see. Uh, I'm just... Because uh, I would really rather not look through everything a third time. Because I looked through all of them once just to start. The second time I looked through... Oh, now it's just him. Everybody else left. That sucks. It's like when you have a party, and then everybody except you is gone. And like, you don't have... Like a boyfriend or girlfriend or something like that. And so, you, you know, it's just... An onset of... Kind of total loneliness. It's just like, well... Guess I'm done now. I mean, I don't know what else to do. We've explored everything twice. Some parts three times now. Am I ejected? It's still search the apartment. Yeah, it is. Huh. 203. Still really wishing there was a sprint key that- Hey, what's that? A pocket knife. Score. Nice, that could come in handy. Is it like a multiple- Ooh, it's a Swiss army knife. Yeah, multiple tools. Okay, well. I don't know how I didn't see that before. Maybe I did, but I just didn't pick it up. Or maybe it had just spawned in, which I can't say I would like. <laughs> Anyways, to the third floor, I think, maybe fourth. Uh, oh, the whole fridge is and the oven, both are gone. This is bare. And still very green. Anyways. Maybe it is the fourth floor. Let's see. Let's see. 403. 404. Four. 404 apartment not found. Somehow, with the uh, multi-tool, he was able to... Um, Fused together the plastic again. There was shattered parts of it. I suppose you could re-roll the tape, but good luck on that working. Although I suppose at the same time it's sort of like, you know, the surreal bit. I don't think anybody can see it but Sally. Anyways, bridge. 
why, why won't you answer me? Every passing moment just silently staring down upon me with no remorse. They're gathering as we speak, and they mean to open a vortex, perhaps into this world, a bridge between us and them. Does this not arouse your attention in any way at all? Sometimes I wonder if you're even real. If there is anyone behind that lens, or just a corpse decaying at thy helm, I please for infinity echoing into the path, uh, vast emptiness of death. Look, if you're talking to me, I can't do shit. But I mean, if all three of us are down, I'm down. I don't really care what people say. What do you think? Uh, yeah, sure. Really? I wasn't sure if you'd be into the idea. We should probably revisit this conversation again later. My mind is a little fuzzy right now. Yeah, he was talking about an orgy between the two of you, Todd, and that other guy. Just kidding. <laughs> you glitched out- I mean, I hope. <laughs> you glitched out again while I was talking, didn't you? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. I know you can't control it. Did you get anything useful from it this time? I think so, but I'm still trying to piece it together. Still can't do anything with that security camera. Uh... Well, that is one use for it. Let's see, Dad and Lisa. Robert's place. No, not the fifth floor. Not yet. Not yet. We have a bird cage, which is actually still on the fourth, fifth floor. Never mind. Yes, yes. You have a. I, mean, I would assume. Damn straight. Oh, oh, north, east, west, south. Okay. North. East. South. You probably go in the middle. And west. Well, that's not right. Oh. I'm dumb. It's reversed. The Made in China sticker is upside down. Plus, the only red on it is, uh... At the bottom. Okay, that probably stays there. That goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. Excellent. Whoa. I think I found that key you lost. I didn't lose it, I just... Wait, where the hell did that even come from? I didn't put it in there. Someone wanted us to find this. I couldn't have just, like, slipped it under my door or put it in my mailbox or something. Reality is a tangled web. Uh, what? Never mind, we got the key now. Let's go check out the temple. Teeth. An old key that opens the hatch door in room 2B. Okay, but we still have a uh, piece of the floor to rip up. Which I believe was in 504. Uh, in here? That's a bathroom, no. And there. And then there. Uh, no, I guess not. If demons are real and souls are real, do you think there are angels too? And heaven and hell? God and the devil? Is all of it real? Well, I wouldn't want to say I hope so, because, like, that puts a really heavy connotation on living and all that. I don't think so, because, I mean, what are the chances that we would just be right about all that. We call this creature a demon because that's how we understand it, but I don't think it's that simple. I don't think any of it is that simple. I think religion is mostly just stories that we tell each other who inspire a sense of hope and meaning. Might be right about that. But maybe some of it is based on truth also. Could be that religion has been our way of trying to describe something we don't fully understand. Oh, I never thought of it like that before. Wonder how the demon was able to possess Luke, even after he died. All right, well, we got some extra dialogue out of that, at least. Uh, where was that ripped up floor? I forgot. Maybe it was in uh, 503 instead. No, that was one of the VHS tapes. Uh, 
Um. Yeah, nothing in here. Can I interact with this anymore? Nothing left to do here. I suppose not. Okay. Well. Gosh, I... Was it not on the fifth floor or something? I was pretty sure that it was. Oh, that was it. That was the last room. Yeah, no, I guess it wasn't. Huh. Maybe it was in 403. Wait, we already looked there. We just came out of there. Dad and Lisa, Robert's place, okay. Oops, that's not what I meant. Okay, let's see, 304. Perhaps in here? No. Gosh. I wish it would tell you if you would previously explored it. I do not know my way around this place super well. Backerton's old place, I think. Yeah, wasn't there... Yes, in here, in fact. Okay, it was in here. I was just being dumb. Whoops. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> negative that. Okay. Uh, I don't really have anything that could tell me what that is, but I will keep in mind that that is. Maybe it's the same code. What was it though? It's like three fourteen, I think. Okay, was it? Like 12, 10 before? Oh, there's no zero. Nah, okay. I don't know then, but per maybe we'll find it in the temple. That is not the room where the temple is. Huh, speaking of which, where was that room? I don't even remember, to be honest. Oh, that's just the bathroom. What? Ah, oh no, no, no. The temple was... Okay, that's why I was confused at where the tear in the floor was. Because I thought that the... Right, because the trash chute led into the temple. But that's not the way that we got there the first time. We got there... Through the door in the basement. Ah, uh, this is such a maze. <laughs> Alright. Two hours later. Everything seems normal here, Larry. Well, normal for Addison Apartments, at least. I see, okay, so I don't have to search through the whole thing. What about all those teeth and glowing bird... Uh, the glowing birdcage thing and the key? I guess that was a little odd. This feeling won't go away either. Something bad is coming, dude. I don't know what or when, but I can feel it. You may be right. I'll fill, in, uh, I'll fill Todd in when he's home and we can come over later tonight with his gadgets. Okay, when is he out of class? He should be out by now, but I'm supposed to meet him with, uh, meet up with Ash, remember? Oh, right. You should bring her along. I think we should go on, uh, easy on her for now with the paranormal stuff. That's true. Last time she tagged along, things didn't go so well. I mean, that was like a year ago now. It seems like every year just goes by faster and faster. They definitely do. Also, don't forget that we're all getting together for dinner tomorrow night. <laughs> How could I forget? Between you and Ash, I've got about a thousand texts, uh, texts about it.
Hey, Ashley. Sal. I'm so excited uh, to see you. I've missed you so much. I uh, miss you too, Ash. You cut your hair. I like it. Thanks. It's easier for writing. I see you've changed your hair as well. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Looks rad. <laughs> um, though I do kind of miss the pigtails. Man, that's loud. I haven't been out to the lake since last time we were here together. What's the? <laughs> I said it's been a long time since I've been to the lake. Me too, it's nice out there, peaceful. Sorry if you couldn't hear that. I don't know if I was even talking loud enough for you to hear over that. But, uh... I'm surprised that that helmet fits with the mask on. Also, that's a real bad place to sit. That tree's about to land on you. So you and Ben all good now? Yeah, we're good. What was that all about, anyway? Stupid sibling stuff. He called me soulless because I didn't cry at Grandma's funeral. He said I wasn't human because I never cry and blah blah blah. Then it turned into a big argument, as if I wasn't sad enough about Grandma. Anyway, the point is that we made up and we're okay now. You know, now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever seen you cry. Well, I must be some kind of soulless monster. Ah! <laughs> you better watch out. We kill monsters like you around these parts. No, you better watch out. This ain't no monster you want to be messing with. <laughs> I'm just fighting words. I hope you kissed your mama goodbye this morning. How have you been, Sally Face? I've been good. That's good to hear, though I get the feeling that's not the full truth. Things have been mostly good. I'm just... I don't know. I guess I didn't want to weigh you down with my stuff. Sal, we're best friends. That's what I'm here for. Don't be silly. So go on, crush me with your weight. And I've said this before, but you know you don't have to wear that around me. My face? Your mask. But it's like a part of me now. It's the face I wear in public. The face I wear all the time. Yeah, also, if he has to wear that... I, mean, I don't know, maybe he doesn't have to anymore, but... If you got an injury bad enough, if you sustained an injury and lived from something bad enough that you would need to wear something like that, it'd probably be good not to take it off, because... I... If it would seem that the skin around that area would be really easy to break. I just want you to know that you don't have to wear it if you don't want to. It's just you and me out here and no one else is around. Are you laid back for good? Yeah, you got a problem with that bucket? <laughs> I don't know. It was kind of... Uh, nice with just the boys. Adding a girl to them, it sort of throws the whole thing off. Well, you better get used to it because now you're stuck with me. I miss you, Ash. We all have. It's nice to have you back. Good to be back. I miss you guys a lot. I'm excited to see everyone tomorrow. Oh, I don't know. Where are you going to stay? With my family for now. They kept my old room just the way I left it. Nice. My dad converted my old room into an office pretty much as soon as I, <coughs> as I left. <laughs> it's only because he was making room for Lisa. True. I still can't believe those two got married. And you and Larry are like stepbrothers? Yeah, I'm not fully used to it either. It's weird, but good weird. It's, a, uh, it's good to see my dad happy again. They are adorable together, to be honest. Are you happy? Happy with what? Everything. Life. I don't know. That's a hard question. Even though I've had a hard time lately, I try to find things that make me happy. Things that are uh, worth pursuing. Otherwise, what's the point, you know? Yeah. I'm happy right now. Are you sure you're okay, Sal? I'm getting a little worried about you. I don't know. I guess I'm feeling off. It just feels like everything is wrong. What do you mean? It feels like nothing puts me at ease. It's this constant feeling of discomfort like my soul isn't aligned with my body. I feel like screaming at the sky until it breaks apart. Well? Well, what? Let's do it! I don't know. Come on, I bet you'll feel better. <coughs> and then the sky cracked. Just kidding. Hey, Todd. Hey, you're back from your date with Ashley already? 
I don't think it was a, a date, but yeah. Whatever you say, Sal. How did it go? It was nice seeing her. It's going to be good to have her back. Indeed. Ashley is a good egg, and our investigations could benefit from her fe uh, the female <laughs> the female perspective. <laughs> Additionally, simply having fresh eyes on her research could prove useful. Speaking of, Larry and I think there's something weird going on in the apartments again. I told him that I'd uh, bring you over tonight to check it out. Perfect. This will give me an opportunity to test out the new things I've been working on. Give me a few minutes to get ready. Sure, let me know whenever you're ready to head over. Will do. So, I'm sorry, dude. Please don't blame yourself. Sorry for what? What are you talking about? It's time for me to go. You better not be doing anything stupid. It's too late. I'll be gone soon. Stop messing around, Larry. This isn't funny. Hey? Larry? Pick up. Pick up the phone, Larry. You better pick up. Oh, God, Larry. Uh, this is crazy weather. Gosh, yet again, Larry, Larry, this is another scene. Where the hell are you? Another scene that I feel like would benefit so much more from being a video, I mean, a, a book or a movie, like a TV show or something. Oh, what? No. I don't, I didn't even see what I interacted with. No, Larry, what did you do? Uh... So excited to see Sal, I didn't realize how different he was acting at first. When we were hanging out by Wendigo Lake, I started to notice him more. At the time, though, he it just seemed uh, he just seemed sad to me. I thought maybe he'd stop taking his medications. Miss Campbell, at any point during your date with Sal, did you ever feel as if you were in danger or threatened at all? No, sir. It was nothing like that. Sal was one of the sweetest boys I knew. I always felt safe being around him until later that night. Can you please explain what you witnessed at the treehouse? It wasn't too long after I would gotten home from the lake that Sal called me, maybe an hour or so. He was clearly shaken up and I could tell from his voice that he'd been crying. He told me that Larry was dead. I begged him to call 911, that if he didn't then I would. And did either of you call 911? No, the boys had me convinced since high school that there was a conspiracy in Knockville involving the police that they couldn't be trusted. So I went against my better judgment and didn't make the call. I rode over to the apartments right away. When I got to the treehouse, Sal was acting weird, talking to himself and pacing back and forth. Obviously, he was upset. We both were, but I had never seen him like that before. I tried to get him to calm down, but he kept rambling on about cultists and some impending evil. He said Larry was in the treehouse. I took, uh, I took a minute to gather my nerves. I wasn't sure what was going on. If Larry was really dead or if Sal had lost it. I went up into the treehouse and there was nothing out of place in there except for an empty booze bottle. Have you ever known Sal to be a drinker? Not at all. Sal hardly ever touched this stuff. He once told me that he was afraid to get drunk because the, uh, addiction runs in his family. And he didn't want to become an alcoholic, so I knew something was really wrong. Larry wasn't anywhere to be seen, and Sal was started uh, to really worry me. I tried to calm him down and reason with him, but he was not receptive to it. 
I tried to get him inside, but he wouldn't budge. We, uh, we got into an argument. It was the only time that we had ever argued. I had to walk away from him. I couldn't be around him like that, and I didn't want to make it make him worse. Before I left, I left Henry and Lisa. Uh, I let Henry and Lisa know that Sal needed help. They said they'd look after him, and I told them to call me if they needed me. I felt horrible leaving Sal like that. I just didn't know what I uh, what to do. I wish he would have stayed there. I wish I uh, I should have stayed with him. I sat by my phone all night until I got the second call. That dude with the purple hair on the right, he's got a massive bald spot, but like in the back of his head, not on the top. <laughs> Anyways, about 10 minutes after Ashley left, Todd showed up. He figured, uh, figured something was wrong since I left so suddenly and wasn't answering his texts. He drove over in the van with our gear. I told Todd what Larry did. We both needed time to collect ourselves. Larry was our best friend. The four of us were like family, like I said earlier. What happened to his body? I'm not sure. He's trying to tell me something, but it's all broken up. I think he's having trouble communicating with us. Let's try out the new gear. I think it'll help. Hold on. Alright, with the Necrolite modifications and Meteor Guitar, I believe we'll be able to manipulate this this spirit realm <laughs> in some capacity. How does it work? Turn on using that G button there. you notice I've added 12 symbols to the neck of the guitar. Play the corresponding notes to activate the symbols. Play as you normally do. Select a group of the notes and then press J, K, or L to strum one of the notes in that group. Try playing all 12 notes. <coughs> happened? Todd? Larry? Hello? What's good? <laughs> Ghost of Allison Rosenberg. Hello, my dear Sally. Who are... Rose? You have really long hair. <laughs> the light from your guitar contains magic from another world. It seems that the, the prophecy may have been true after all. Uh, what? There isn't time to explain. You must use this power to stop them. The devourers of God have preserved, uh, despite our efforts to stop them. The hell was that? A ripple across the fabric of reality. It has begun. You must destroy the barrier spells to reach the source and put an end to it. Yeah, see, now... <sighs> see, this kind of sucks. Because, like I said... A few episodes ago, I have been really starting to enjoy this game. Like, at the beginning, it was pretty bad. Because it was super boring, and it seems tr very trying very hard to be something and failing miserably at it. But, it has only gotten better since recently. And now, it just seems to be trying to add as much layers as possible. You know, I mean, it's like, it's like you're making a sandwich, and the beginning of this game started out as just the bread. That's not a sandwich, that sucks, you know? Then it added, like, mayonnaise, and you're like, alright, it's not just bread anymore, I guess, but it's not a whole lot different. And then it started adding more and more layers, and, you know, fleshing it out, in this analogy, literally, with, like, ham and beef and all that, and, you know, maybe some cheese. But now there's, like... 37 layers of beef and like a pound of mustard and it's just like chill let's let's finish the old stuff you know eat this sandwich then you can make a new sandwich if you're still hungry but i feel like this is too many plots at once how will i do that use the power of the necrolites you'll need help from the spirit realm to reveal what's hidden to you I cannot be of help in this regard, as I must remain within the black room. Though I can temporarily release you of your friend Larry uh, from that which uh, binds him, 
He will be your eyes on the other side. Godspeed, dear Sally. Sal, huh? You scared the crap out of me. You disappeared and there was an intense sound that shook the treehouse. Where were you? I, uh, guess the guitar worked. I saw Rosenberg. She said the cult is back. We need to stop them before. The hell? How did... Huh. Larry. I think Rosenberg is helping us somehow. I was stuck in that damn treehouse so long. It's only been a few hours since he... You, you asshole, how could you do this? Why did you leave me? Why? I'm sorry, dude. I really am. But we don't have much time. Rose said that the cult is here and now has to be stopped tonight. It's not going to be easy. I just can't believe this is real. I can't believe you're really gone. Come on, Sal. Let's take these fuckers out once and for all. Random obelisk? This can't be good. That is obviously not the solution to the issue. Well, maybe it is, but, uh... Switch to Larry. Ah! Voice of Rosenberg. Larry, this is the dead stone. Press R to squeeze it tightly and summon the power from within. You must use this ancient relic to assist Sally. What does it do? Hello? Okay. Well, that's... something. Larry's notes. Oh yeah. Sal, I know this is going to be hard for you to understand. I'm sorry. Please don't blame yourself and please don't hate me. I was lucky to have you in my life. I couldn't have asked for a better brother than you, dude. I know you're going to uh, do great things. You gotta keep going. Keep fighting the darkness. It's coming closer now. I can hear it whispering in my head. It's getting louder. I just need this to end. I can't take it anymore. I'm not strong like you are. I love you, Sally Face. Always. See you on the other side, Larry. All right, then. Oh, this is timed. Yeah, okay. So this is going to be difficult. Uh, all right. You. You. Nope, that's not. Damn it. Oh, it was only three. Ew. Uh, no. Not yet. First, we're gonna explore. Locked. Locked. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nani. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then I guess drop down. What are you guys doing? We're watching TV, but what's the point, really? These shows are all the same. Everything has become so predictable. Uh, the TV is off. Are you two alright? We're fine, Sal. Just fine. Everything is peachy. Okay... Thank you, uh... I think that they phasered the music a little much. What's good? Stereo on the fritz again? Huh? Oh yeah, I guess. I don't know. Oh, this guy's head is fucking massive. I didn't notice that before. No, <laughs> well, he kind of blocked the elevator. Uh... 
I don't know, maybe I can get out a window in this room. I don't know why I'm going into the kitchen. Why would there be a window in the kitchen? Uh, well, in the bathroom, for that matter. Okay, that's horrible. Also, where are all the other rooms in this room? Where's the bedroom and everything? I, okay. Uh, oh, I, for, I forgot that we could switch to Larry. I'm gonna have to remember that now. Oh, jeez, this is brutal. Also, he's super fast. Okay, well, let's, uh... The dead stone is an ancient relic that Rosenberg gave me. I can press R to summon its power. Not totally sure what the hell it does. Whoa. Yeah. The shapeless man walks in awkward strides. Fucking hell, that guy is creepy. Locked. It's another drop down. Huh, there's no handle. Henry and Mom's place. Robert's place. I think that there might be a glitch in here. <laughs> Alright. Hang in there, dude. Oh, well, guess it's not gonna work that time. Ugh. Shit, are you two okay? What the hell is this? Mom? Henry? You can hear me, we're gonna fix this, just hold on. Ugh. Yeah, this is... this is something. Alright, well... What did I change? Nothing, actually. <laughs> Beautiful. There, let's see. I don't stand in front of the TV, so. Okay, what if I. I'm not. Nothing. Okay, well. Huh. Nothing. Maybe that sound will carry over here? Oh, it will. Alright. Hey! Actual music now.
An electric guitar that doesn't need an amp. That's sort of cool. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Well... Okay. I... really don't know what to do right now. I mean, I fixed that thing. Uh, what? What? I fixed the stereo, but like, you know, that doesn't really change anything. Like, oh yeah, nice. Now I can listen to some jamming tunes. Like, that doesn't... What does that change? Battery is dead. I hope Todd is alright. Look, I'm trying to destroy the barriers. Okay, well, whatever. This has been a longer episode already, so I think I'm gonna end it here. Hopefully we can figure out what to do next time. <laughs> Sorry. Um... But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to join the Coros Rebellion. If you have any suggestions for games for me to play or ways to make my commentating more enjoyable, don't hesitate to leave your comments. That's about it. See ya.